Commodus is the last emperor of the Nova Antonine uh, dynasty. He starts at the very end of the first century AD and then stops with Commodus uh, at the end of the second century AD. He is the only emperor of this specific dynasty that was not adopted into the family to become the successor to the throne. So his father, Marcus Aurelius, decides to have him as his successor, which was not a move that was very popular with the Senate. Marcus Aurelius was a military leader. He was this wise ruler that really loved philosophy, surrounded him with the best minds and tutors of the time. However, Commodus was quite unruly and described as quite arrogant since he was a child. He is very famous for being this archetypal megalomaniac. He loved violence, he loved murder. He was very involved in the gladiatorial games. He killed the 100 lions in one day. Another time, quite famously, he managed to kill a running ostrich with his bow and arrow. And then what he did, he cut the head of the ostrich and then threatened the senators that were also watching. You can see some of the common traits of what is the style of sculpture during the second century, which is this beautiful hair with heavy use of drilling, very detailed. But also in this specific case, I think the artist managed to capture what is the arrogance and the attitude of this young prince that knows he's about to become emperor. Throughout his reign, there were a few plots to assassinate him. The successful one is in 192, when he was poisoned, allegedly by his favorite concubine, Murcia, and then the poison didn't quite kill him, so the Praetorian Guard has to step in and just strangle him to put an end to his reign. It is an amazing piece of history because not only we get to see what the personality of this emperor might have been like, but also it marks the very important moment when the Roman Empire really reaches the peak of its power.